previously on Finch. I do now have all of the sand and giant seaweed required to get 99 crafting and the question now for me really is when to actually start working on that. If you guys would be interested in me gunning straight for 99 do let me know otherwise I can just start chipping away at it. We shall see. Well, I asked the question and you guys answered. The response to the previous video was overwhelmingly in favour of me gunning straight for 99 crafting. Thank you for all your comments, it was great to see such a response to the last video and I certainly wouldn't have posed the question unless I was serious about going for the cape. So this is it, the 99 crafting video. Sit back, relax and I hope you enjoy. And that's the first level on the way to 99, five left to go. Once I've finished doing all the super glass make, it'll be a bit smoother sailing because it's pretty FK after that. And I don't have too much left to go. So that would be pretty good. All right, well, that is all of the super glass make done. I've got 71,000 molten glass. So the journey towards 99 crafting can begin now. It's actually about 40 hours of glass blowing. Um, in the last video, I estimated 30 hours. So that's a pretty big discrepancy. But I figured um, whilst I'm gonna be doing a bank standing skill, I can make the most of it. I'm gonna try and concentrate on doing as many herb and birdhouse runs as possible. Um, so I've stocked up on some redwood logs and uh, I'm gonna try and use up my cadentine and quorum seeds because that's better XP than the irits that I've got in the bank and the secondaries aren't too hard to come by because I can grow both white breeze and limpet roots. So um, let's get to work. There is 95 crafting, four to go. And that is 96, three to go. 97, two to go. And that is 98 crafting. We're on the home stretch now. One level left to go. There we go, just the one last molten glass to blow before hitting 99. It was actually a really chill chunk of training in the end, pretty AFK. And I figured that getting the 99 in the crafting guild itself would be appropriate. So here we go, one last blow for the 99. Lovely, there we go, 99 crafting. Really nice to get this one done and looking forward to using the cape as well. Let's buy that now. Excellent. So if you're unaware, the cape has unlimited teleports to the guild, which is right next to a bank chest, so it's incredibly convenient for banking. And of course, we'll give it the obligatory emote as well, if I can do it inside. Look at that. Really happy with this one. Really good 99 to get. So I mentioned I was doing herb and birdhouse runs while training crafting. Here's the loot. Nothing too special, but a nice chunk of herb lore XP. So just over 300 nests, uh, 600 odd irrits, nearly a thousand qualms and nearly a thousand cadentines as well. I really do want to get back in the habit of doing herb and birdhouse runs consistently again. I'm not too far off having 99 herb banked actually. It would just be a case of getting enough nests for the toad flax I have banked currently, which I think is uh, about 2000, yeah and then a further 800k or so herb xp um which is likely to be from irrits so i do have some higher level herb seeds as well that i can use um once i get back to slay i'll definitely make a point of doing kq tasks again so i can get more wines and potato cactus as well so with 99 crafting done and dusted there's still plenty of time left in this video to throw some more content your way uh, some of the clips coming up were actually recorded before I started working on 99 crafting, so please excuse the slightly wonky chronology, but regardless, let's crack on with the rest of the episode. 
and that is 89 mining so one level left to go 500k xp until I hit 90 and I'll probably move on to a different skill so really nice source of AFK actually so it'd be a shame to lose it first prayer level of the video coming in that's 86 I'm getting so much XP here nearly 800k an hour with the uh, Dagonoff bones and that is including the banking time so it's pretty ridiculous um, 90 shouldn't take too long there is 87 88 so I actually missed the level in this clip I hit 89 as you can see and someone almost immediately attacked me and no surprise that I did end up dying losing a few bones but I figured when this does happen the most sensible thing is just to try and use as many bones on the altar as possible so not the end of the world and the guy did grasp me at least and that is 90 prayer I think that's a combat level as well 125 that'll do me for the prayer training for the time being I do have the bones for 96 but I'll come back another time it's starting to get quite busy with PKs again so that can wait for another day I think now that is an interesting task I've only killed a couple of commander Zilianas before I think that was just for the Fremnik Elite Diary and I got a couple of kills in a trip but with the Slayer Helm I should be able to get a pretty decent trip and there's some obviously really good items from Saradome and God Wars that would be good to go for so we'll go for the full 35 and see if we can get anything. Found a lucky impling. Can we get anything good from this? Rune play body could be worse I guess. And this is going to be the last kill of the task. Overall it went pretty well. I have to say if I came back off task I would be looking to upgrade my gear probably coming back with rigor just because otherwise the kill is going to be too slow but 35 kills on task went fairly smoothly um, so I'd be perfectly happy to come back if I got another task of these again. Just picked up a task of 246 greater demons overall which is 130 odd boss kills and that should take us up to about 800 Sami kills overall. Feeling quite hopeful that there's a decent chance I might get the hilt this task, let's see. Alright that is another Zami Spear, again uh, it's been a while actually since I've done my last task so I can't remember how many I've had of these, I believe that's number 9. Um, for a second I saw Zamorak and I thought it was a hilt but uh, that didn't last very long. But we've still only done like 8 kills this task so plenty left to go and we might get the hilt, we shall see. Ooh what's that? A thieving bag? I think that's one of the new rewards they added with the latest um, the latest clue scroll update how it goes on the back that's pretty cool got an elite clue to open what can we get a whole lot of nothing but that is 75 elite clues done now which is not too bad and that is another drop a steam battle staff not much more to say on that and another spear on kill 697. I fear it's going to be another one of those tasks where the drops roll in and it's everything but a hilt. Alright, that is my 700th kill at Zami God Wars. I did say in a previous video that if I got the hilt under 700 kills I would be happy. Um, but that hasn't happened. I did say if I had to choose one of the God Wars bosses to go dry on it would probably be Zami. Uh, so, can't complain too much. And another Steam Battle Staff up to 723kc. No further comment needed. This is getting slightly ridiculous. That is another Minion Spear, which I think is at least the second one I've had from a Minion. And it's one in 16,000, I believe. Um, could possibly be the third. I can't quite remember. Definitely my 10th Sammy Spear overall, though. I've actually just checked the wiki, and it's 3 out of 16k for a spear from the minions so I guess more like one in 5k drop but still ridiculous to have two of those um, and not even a single hilt so far. Alright well that was the last kill of the task I'm not going to come back for one greater demon so we're finishing on 774 krill kills and no hilt. And that is it for today's episode guys I hope you've enjoyed watching I really enjoyed putting this episode together and it was great to be able to knock out 99 crafting all in one video do let me know what you thought of some of the montages. I wanted to do something a little bit different this episode without straying too far from what I've normally put out. So I'd be keen to hear any feedback in terms of the next episode. It will likely be a mix of Slayer again and some skilling. I'd like to finish up 90 mining and smithing. 
and make a good dent in 90 construction as well. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to like and subscribe, and I hope to see you all next time. Take care.